Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration using some of our brand new stamps today. Okay, I'm going to be using some embossing powders, uh, our versifying clairs, I'm using some of our new element ink pads as well, so you'll need a stencil brush for that. We've got some of our brand new uh, small stamps. These are our fairy change, which, which I think are really fabulous little stamps that you can fit in and around anywhere. So we're going to be using those along with our fairy swing and also one of our brand new fairies. So starting with the nocturne, we're going to ink up our lovely fairy. Now there's quite a lot of detail on her, so just take a little bit of time and make sure that you've covered that area. I'm going to pop her down and give that a good press. We're going to dry that off. Make sure that that is completely dry because we're going to emboss now. Embossing powders tend to stick to anything that's wet. We're using our fairy swing and then using the Versa Mark. Again, just take your time. It's really highly detailed, this one. And then we're going to line that up so the fairy is just sitting on top. Give that a press down. And I mean, that's the beauty of these um, acrylic boards is that you can see exactly where you're stamping. It's a worth an investment, uh, even if it's just one of these boards really does help with positioning when you're creating your cards. And now the Wow Embossing Powder. Just simply sprinkle that over the top. And tap off. Let's pop this back into the container and now you can see where the powder has slightly stuck to our little fairy and all we're going to do now is take a nice fine brush and just take that off. And then the wings, I'm just taking the powder off the wings. So just give a little bit of time and attention to that before we use the heat gun and uh, set the embossing powder. So we're ready to go now and I'm just going to take the heat gun over the top so I've got a couple of stencil brushes there and the colours we're going to pick are the line punch and we've got Della Blue. So let's start with a lime punch. Always good to start with a lighter colour and then build your depth in gradually.
and now the Della Blue. So gently to start with. And the darker the colour, the more the white starts to jump out at you. But don't be tempted to just put dark colour on straight away. You just need to build it gradually. And you kind of get a feel when you know when to stop. We've got our lovely little fairy charms here. And I'm going to use one of our older stamps, although it's still a new one, comes in a, a new set. These mini stamps are always so handy. Just to fill in detail. And let's pick a couple of colours. Let's go with the twilight and we'll go with warm breeze as well. And I think we'll use the shady lane. Let's start with the shady lane and this lovely little foliage stamp. And then we're going to start building up. where she's sitting. Such a lovely, um, delicate stamp. Do the charms. I've got my warm breeze. so easy to build up and I think it looks so pretty. And we've got some words here as well. I'm going to pop those down. Let's pick a different colour. 
actually maybe we will use the warm breeze I was going to pick something a bit brighter but then I don't want it to stand out too much And then lastly I'm going to ink up, and I'm only inking up halfway at one of the fairy charms because I want to have that hanging down into her hand. I don't want it going above so you can see I've just started there. go on to our pasta pens now and I'm just going to place a few little dots just around dare we put a little bit of pink in here I think if we just put a tiny amount it won't be too overpowering That's nice. That's a nice colour actually. Um, it goes really well with the green. I've only used tiny, tiny little dots though. Okay, so I think we are finished there. You could add some glitter if you wanted, but I'm quite happy to leave that as it is now. I hope you have enjoyed today's demo guys, thanks so much for joining me and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself, it gives you an idea of what you can use this stamp for. Take care and we'll see you soon, bye for now.